His are 80 years of beauty in a world of exquisite music. Raymond Leppard was London-born. He grew up in Bath playing viola and piano, winning scholarships to the Royal Academy of Music in Trinity College. And so begins a glorious, dynamic life. I always was very familiar with the name of Raymond Leppard. When I was a young boy, he was a big star because of all his recordings with his marvelous English orchestras. As an academician at Cambridge, he studied harpsichord, was a choral director. At the same time, Leppard worked as a celebrated musician on the public stage, an authority on Baroque music, making his London debut with his own Leppard Ensemble, eventually playing with and conducting the English Chamber Orchestra. Ever an advocate for music, Leppard prepared several realizations of early operatic scores. Raymond was so famous to me, to us, for his arrangements of old music, especially of the music of Monteverdi. You could not play any Monteverdi then in his arrangements, and these arrangements are gorgeous still today. The collaboration with Raymond Leppard has been a very happy one. Leppard's personal, caring friendships are legendary with the great Dame Janet Baker. He has long been associated with the royal family. It all stemmed from a discussion that uh, my grandmother and I, and one or two others, including Raymond Leppard and uh, dear Robert had. In his 80 years, Leppard has written film scores. He is the author of two books, his lifetime of recordings have been awarded some of the most prestigious prizes in the world. In 1976, he traveled as guest conductor, remembering his first trip to Indianapolis. I was absolutely amazed to see virtually nobody. I mean, not a dog, not a drunk, no possibility of being mugged. Leppard conducted most of the great symphony orchestras in the U.S. and many of the world's most famous ones as well. He was principal guest conductor of the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra when he was invited back to Indianapolis, where he found an offer to stay in a city transformed. That and, and the spirit of the orchestra um, made, me, made me want to take it on. And I did, and I'm, I loved every moment of my time. He demanded clarity. He demanded, he demanded that people practice more. He put us on the map, put us right in the top 10. I thought it was a wonderful opportunity to, to focus on a classical sound and a classical style of playing, and that's what we spent the next 14 years attempting. Leppard blended his artistic demands with humor. Raymond gave us an identity, and we had only had competition with other orchestras. Leppard drew precise, vibrant playing from the ISO. As conductor, he led the orchestra on two European tours. To go to Europe with the ISO, I think this is the best feeling. After 14 years, Raymond Leppard retired, becoming the first conductor laureate of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. Maestro Raymond Leppard took the podium for the final time as music director. Here, as everywhere else in the world, he is beloved. Here, he has found a place called home. It's a, it's a great city, full of remarkable people. And I have a very nice house and, and five acres of woodland with wonderful trees and lots of gardening to do and great times to be had in it. Um, why on earth would I live anywhere else? You are a perfect conductor laureate. And it's amazing how we need you still and what you are still for us. And happy birthday to you. I wish you from the bottom of my heart all the best. Luck for the profession, for personal things and all the best wine ears you ever have had in your life. For many years now I have been honored and delighted to call you friend and colleague. 
So many evenings have we all sat here in this hall and been transported by your concerts. Happy birthday, Raymond. I would like to say Friedrich Geburtstag, Bon Anniversaire. Feliz cumpleaños, and por supuesto, happy birthday to you.